the Qatar Grand Handicap is next. This is a Class 7 0 270. Have a remark. And a cooler is at the top for Rod McLeod, Boomerang Arn, Thomas Rogers, Jim Field, Obi Wan, Aeolus, Martin Lino, Hearts Desire, Daniel French, Home Society, CDJ Liggett, Glass Conti, Thomas Rogers, Sibilant, Martin Lino, Crazy Horse, Daniel French, Good Time Girl, Graham Clutterbuck, Tom Bombadil for Satyam Sandra Sagarin, Blue Peter for Kevin Meenhan, Silmi Ekibar Terry for CDJ Liggett, Future Speed, Alex Cherry, Stuvray's got two, Barbella and Russian Afloat, Ballard Danon for Satyam Sandra Sagarin, Clark of the Court, Alex Cherry, Cloth Cap for Graham Clutterbuck, Lazy Lacey for Obi Wan, uh, Matt Cooper's got the bottom pair, Oakland Raider and Troy's Guest. So 22 of them, then massive field for a 0 to 70. And away we go. And Blue Peter was quickly out, so to whatever on a far side was rushing a float. And down on this near side of Quiller and Aeolus were also out. Well, Oakland Raiders now come through to dispute the lead with rushing a float. So it's rushing a float who's actually gone on from Oakland Raider and Aquila, then Ballad down on. And Jim Field is up there as well, so to Glass Conti, Crazy Horse. He's trying to get in that leading group. There's a group of about 10 of them that are detached. At this point, with the leader rushing a float and a shot clear, and he's got the inside coming round this turn, and he's going to come out of it with a five length advantage from Ballard Danon in second, and then Glass Conti in third, Cloth Cap is fourth, then Boomerang and Man and Blue Pizza, Crazy Hawks is after that, Sibilant Naolus in the purple and white stripes, both in a similar position. Oakland Raider has dropped back a little bit, but it's rushing a float who's got the lead and got the lead by a good four lengths or so. They're coming up around the outside, making a really impressive looking run. His heart's desire, Blue Peter, is also trying to go with that one. So too's the grey um, cloth cap, and that one's going to come through the challenge as we change angles, and you can see from the different angle, it looks as though this side have got the lead, but Rushman Flood is still hanging on. Now being impressed by Quiller. Heart's desire up the centre of the track from Boom Ramon. Simon is also trying to get it. Glass Conti and Blue Peter, crazy horse after that one. Full of an arm to go, and it's a Quiller over on the far side, just in front of Heart's Desire closest to us. Then comes Sibylan, Glass Conti, Boomerang Amman and Blue Peter, but it's a quitter and Harsh Desire and a bit of a head bobber. And it's now Harsh Desire who asserts inside the final half foot and pulls away. And Harsh Desire takes it. Aquila, he's got to just hold on for a second from Crazy Horse and then Good Time Girl finished well as well. Troy's guest was the last one to finish. And there weren't many got into that, that's all really. And Harsh Desire won it pretty easily. And it's a 1-2 in the end for Paul Rhodes, I think. So, you know, said a few seasons ago on Arc Day, Paul Rhodes will be having a 1-2 in a oh, in an Arc Day handicap. People will think you're mad, and then people will turn around and tell me oh, I'm mad because he isn't Paul Rhodes, he's Daniel French. All oh, these mix up of all these colours, you're driving me mad. Anyway, that's Daniel French, not Paul Rhodes. So, it's a 1-2 for Daniel French, Heart's Desire and Crazy Horse. There, first and second, a quiller for Rod McDuel is third, rushing the float for Stu Gray is next, then home society with C.D.J. Liggett.